Hello! Today I'm sharing a bright and vibrant stenciled card using products from the new Simon Says Stamp Believe in You release. So let's get started. First, I placed the faceted stripe stencil in my overspray box and spritzed it lightly with Thermal Web Pixie Spray. You'll want to shake the can vigorously before use, just as, if, just as if you were using spray paint, and apply a thin layer to your stencil. A little goes a long way. Let it dry for a few minutes until it's tacky to the touch but doesn't come off on your finger. Then I placed the stencil over a piece of Strathmore Bristol cardstock and taped it in place with purple tape. Even though the Pixie Spray holds the stencil in place, I like to add the purple tape to make sure that the paper doesn't move while I'm blending. You might also notice that I accidentally tore my stencil when placing it in a storage pocket, but it's easy to work around with this design. Next I use a blending brush to apply spun sugar, picked raspberry, abandoned coral, and candied apple distress oxide inks over my stencil. I have a piece of scrap paper off to the right, and in between colors I blend off onto the scrap paper, and then I'm ready to move to the next color. I also go back and forth to the previous colors as needed to blend the colors better. Once I'm finished, I carefully peel off the tape and stencil and then spritz my panel with water and shimmer spray. Here you can see where I had run-ins with the tear in my stencil. I let that dry completely and then trimmed it down to 5 and a quarter by 4. Next, I die cut the Today Will Be Awesome die with black and white cardstock. I weeded out the letters but reserved them. Then I adhered the two squares to my stenciled panel, carefully covering the blending mistake. It's like it never happened. I decided I wanted to fill out the letters with the middles, so I carefully placed each letter back into the square to use as a guide, dipped the middle in a little liquid adhesive, and fitted it back inside the letter before removing the letter. You want to make sure you remove the letters quickly so that any excess glue doesn't accidentally adhere the letter to the panel. Once it was totally finished and dry, I went over the die with a stiff paintbrush to remove any excess paper bits that were sticking to the die for a nice clean look. Then I adhered the panel to a top folding white base to finish the card. And that's it! I'll be back tomorrow with another video celebrating the new release with a big blog hop and lots of giveaways. You can find links to my blog and all of the products I used today in the YouTube description below. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and happy crafting! Bye!